everybody. Jeff Britton, Commonwealth Firearms, Suffolk, Virginia. Another treat we have today. We've got the collector who let us uh, have some fun today with his automatic weapons. And uh, today, this is a M3 grease gun, World War II. This was the American answer to the German MP40, which was nine millimeter. Contrary to that, this is 45. And so back in the day during World War II, this one, you know, General Electric, General Motors, a lot of people stopped making what their were primarily their job was making cars making lamps making stuff like that and this gun was actually made by a lamp manufacturer which is pretty interesting and so once again like the mp40 this is an open bolt gun which just like on the mp40 you see there's no no clip it's empty to load it is that and once again you see the bolt is wide open in there and so when a bullet is loaded the actual shot comes from pulling the trigger the bolt, the firing pin, everything comes forward and pulls the round up from the mag and, and ignites the round with the firing pin. Then the blowback blows it back. It loads another and shoots, loads another and shoots, loads another and shoots. And so it's a pretty, pretty flawless operation. This is the safety, the old school safety, because when it's up, it can't be shot. Um, you can see these guns were made, it's a grease gun because it looks like a literal grease gun, something that you would use to use caulk in your house or anything like that. Um, really, really simple, simple operation gun. You can see it's welded together. I mean, this is World War II. We got to hurry up and make a machine gun gun here. And uh, it's really an interesting gun. It's got a shoulder a detent here that you push in, extends so you can fire the gun from a shoulder position. It has a sight on it, or you can still fire it from the hip any way you wanted to do it, just like the MP40. So I got a clip of about 15 rounds here, a 45 ammo. We're going to run it through it. You can see what happens. Gun's hot. Fire in the hole. So as you can see, the cycle action on this gun was a lot less than the uh, MP40. So this, this gun, I would say it's probably 30% or less slower than the MP40 9mm. However, with it being a 45, it's gonna pack a much larger hit. And so this was a very effective gun for us back in the day. A really a lot of fun to shoot. Really appreciate again the opportunity to shoot it. Once again, Jeff Britton, Commonwealth Firearms, German, uh, American made M3 grease gun. Thanks. Benjamin Britton shooting an M3 grease gun, World War II era, Call of Duty style. Let's go, baby. Here it is. Jackie Britton shooting an M3 grease gun from World War II, full auto. All right, rock and roll. All right, Jonathan Britton shooting an M3 grease gun, 1945. 